Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So off with another video finally after a tiring week. It has taken quite a bit of time uh, to upload this video because uh, we are having our shutdown activities, our annual shutdown activities in our plant and, it, and it's almost like a festival uh, because it happens once in a year only, only for 15 days and too much of workload. So been a tiring week, but still I'm off to make this video because one of our subscribers asked for this video particularly and we found this topic to be interesting. So today we are going to talk about the future scenario of the co-market what it seems to be like and uh, we are going to share a few incidents after uh, seeing a lot of chaos all around that has been happening over the past few months due to this COVID-19 situation and the decreasing trend of the market, the shares going down, the Nifty 50 rates also going down simultaneously which reflects the country's progress. It's uh, going down and the co markets particularly have been crashing to be very honest brutally honest with you the co market situation currently is not looking good and in the near future also it is looking grim so the co market to be very honest firstly and brutally honestly speaking to the point the co market is not looking good so if you have alternate opportunities you can actually opt for it the first answer to all the questions that have been asked so people were saying this person that uh, mailed me was uh, particularly saying that what should we go for in this current market scenario because companies are not coming to campus what should we do about it can we uh, like uh, do something about it uh, should we switch from code to some other fields like analytics and uh, these things uh, please make a dedicated video on that and I'm off with the same so as we uh, proceed with the video I am going to talk about five specific scenarios or five specific uh, uh, things that have significantly caused uh, turbulence in the co-market so I'm going to talk about those five things and you're going to understand how grim is the situation so first of all let me tell you a major manufacturing sector as of uh, as, as uh, the core industry is concerned is the automobile sector automobile sector is the hub where the mechanical engineers uh, and the automobile engineers are placed in numbers and a bad news from the center is uh, in September 2020, Harley Davidson, one of the big brand names in the automobile industry, have uh, stopped, have decided to stop their production in India and they have uh, decided to shift their manufacturing unit to other places out of India. So, this is a huge blow to the scheme of domestic manufacturing. The promotion of the government to manufacture goods, automobiles, uh, electronic items locally in the domestic market and to decrease the imports. But here the Harley Davidson chose to opt out of it. And why did they choose to opt out of it? As I'm reading out here, Harley Davidson chooses to opt out of it because the sales have gone uh, below expectations. It has been the worst year for them, 2019 particularly. They have recorded immensely low number of sales and that's like in nine years that's the worst record that they have hit so far their income has been the worst in 2019-20 fiscal uh, it has been the worst and that's why they've decided to opt out of India their production they're stopping their uh, plant in Haryana uh, so Harley Davidson Bawal plant in, in, in Haryana was there and they're stopping the production there so they have opted out of India so big blow to the engineers that were walking out there so specifically Bawal plant is going to close for the Harley Davidson bad news for the automobile sector now let's proceed to another sector of oil and gas refinery where the chemical engineers the mechanical engineers do get placed in particular another core industry Petrofac India yes Petrofac India UK based uh, multinational company who operates all over the world has closed there has decided to close their Delhi office from 2021 onwards December 2020 is going to be the last month that they are going to be active and this is because of the uncertainty of further orders there's a, they, they are basically a consultancy company for the commissioning of oil and natural gas plants uh, they have taken up the Cochin refinery work and other significant works as well but recently they are short of orders and they are uncertain about the number of orders that they are going to get in the future so they have decided to scrap off the entire Delhi office yes 
along with all the people that are working there. So a message from the CEO of the company has come up that uh, we are going to close in December and all are requested to find new jobs for themselves and we will not be able to place you anywhere else. So we are scrapping off the Delhi office along with all its employees. So bad news for the oil and gas industry in particular that uh, it's going to be scraped off. Now coming to the third news, Vedanta Resources, the company that I am associated with is delisting its shares in the markets. Yes, Vedanta Resources is delisting its uh, shares in the market. Mm. And they want to get their shares back from the shareholders, which is again a bad news because Vedanta is having a debt of 1,25,000 crores in the market and they are tremendously suffering because the Starlight Copper is closed, their mother plant, Sesa Goa uh, mining is stopped, only smelting operations were happening, the importing ores from outside, Vedanta Aluminium is not doing great business except uh, can India have suffered immense loss in this uh, COVID-19 situation because oil prices have crashed down uh, very much. So uh, only profit making unit is our unit that is Hindustan Zinc Limited till date in the last quarter even they made a significant profit of 1,300 crores. Uh, apart from that none of the units, none of the Vedanta units is making profit. Even Electrosteel is at loss, Balco is at loss, Val that is Vedanta Aluminium is at loss, Sesha Goa is at loss. Starlight Copper is closed, so it is at loss and even uh, Can India, which was running in a good bit of profit, is under loss currently. So they are delisting their shares from uh, UK stock market. So that's another big setback because they're the metal king of India, to be very honest. And that's why them moving out of the core sector is another bad news from the center. Uh, now, another significant news that have uh, been recently up is the GDP growth. Yes, my friends, it's a sad news from the center that the GDP has faced the bottom line in the last uh, probably 24 years since 1996. The growth of the GDP year to year, year on year growth is 23.9% minus. That is, it is a negative GDP growth from the last Q2 of the last year. So it's a drastic fall. It's a drastic fall and coming from a positive growth of 11% in the uh, uh, Q4 of 2019 coming to the Q1 uh, of this financial year and Q2 of this uh, cumulative year if you consider as a year as a whole it is the Q2 of this year and this is the worst hit economy 23.9% negative growth and the sectors that have suffered mostly if you uh, will be uh, not be shocked to know actually construction has faced a major setback construction has faced a 50.3% setback and then coming to manufacturing and trade 39% setback I've written the figures here and lastly the hotel and transport 47% down so you see manufacturing and trade and construction so bad news for civil engineering student bad news for uh, chemical mechanical engineering student because the manufacturing sector and the construction sector have crashed off immensely the only positive growth has been seen in the agricultural sector there is 3.4 percent positive growth other than uh, that all other sectors have shown immense negative growth which is again creating a lack of demand in the market and uh, the market has immensely crashed mostly uh, this is the gdp growth and lastly talking about small small things like tata wanting to get, get back their shares from mysteries cyrus mystery but not being able to do so because of a lack of resources lack of funds can you believe that tata is such a big brand name firstly secondly reliance industries which is doing such great business with their geo brand has not been doing that great with their petrochemical branch petrochemical industry so they have eventually sacked off like 100 gts 100 graduate engineer trainees were asked to leave that's another shocking news honeywell such a big brand name such a big co-company has asked to leave a particular section of the engineers they've asked them to resign particularly the instrumentation branch my friends were walking there they have been sacked off floor daniel has been sacking off two or three people recently i've heard about that so reliance hzl uh, hindustan zinc limited has also been doing that uh, due to this tough times and most of the companies are succumbing to the pressure under this COVID situation. So uh, it's like a very, very drastic uh, change in the market because of this COVID-19 and the market has immensely crashed. So finally concluding up the market situation is not good. So if you 
are having an hindrance in selecting whether I should go for analytics or not, I would say yes, go for analytics company. I keep on telling people that go for analytics, go for software because they are developing. Try to move out of core if you have other options, other interest. If you are passionate about core, stay with it. That is what I tell people throughout. If you don't have any preferences, if you just want the jobs, you will get better jobs in analytics company. You will get better jobs in uh, software companies. Study software, study analytics, move to software, move to analytics. My humble request to all of you, do not hinder, do not trap yourself up. Do not hinder to take drastic steps, move out of it. The situation demands for it. Try to uh, gather experiences and switch companies. The situation is adverse and we will have to fight it uh, together. That is all I would say for today. We will get out of this together. And uh, with that, I will conclude today's lecture. So thank you very much.